Hello everyone. Well, as for today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Blu-ray menu system in Photoshop and then bringing it into Adobe Encore and also showing you guys how to burn three movies onto a disc. First of all, let's come to Photoshop. First option here, I've created a 1080p aspect ratio document right here, as you can see. I've added a background there then the first one I'm going to be burning will be titled Prey second one is going to be called Unspoken third one is going to be called The Last Customer now I'm doing this for a friend of mine because he has to send these films to certain festivals so just for the time being I'm just saving this opportunity to now do a tutorial for you guys I want to create their names so let's come here and let's type Pray. We have pray right there. Select that. Good. Now let's duplicate this. There. Duplicate this as well. There. Now let's change the name on this one to Unspoken. That's the title of this film. And this to last customer. That's the title of that film. So I have pray title for that, unspoken title for that, and last customer title for that. So bring pray just above the thumbnail right there. Unspoken above. Now the reason we are doing this is that when you now click on the title right there and the thumbnail and you go to flatten layers it takes on its name and they become one same thing with unspoken and pray now what you're about to do right now is very very important you want to right click on pray and go to Convert to smart object. Unspoken, same thing as well. Convert to smart object. Right click on last customer, convert to smart object. And you want to save this as a PSD Photoshop file. Now let's come into Adobe Encore. Right click here, you want to click on project. Right click, import as asset. You want to look for the three films, unspoken and pray and last customer click open that's all three films there right click again import as menu i want to bring in the menu system now that i just created so that's this menu 10 psd right click on this select pray then object convert to button you want to do the same to this as well Select unspoken object convert to button. Select last customer object convert to button. Now bring pray here. Click drag onto pray unspoken drag onto unspoken last customer drag onto last customer. Now if you come to flowchart. If it isn't already here, just drag this menu up here and now drag, click on this main here, drag to that. Basically what you've just done is once you put the disk into your display, uh, first thing that shows up is the menu. Then it shows you a different thumbnail showing you pray, unspoken and last customer. And just to make sure that as soon as one finish playing, you can go back to menu. You just want to hold this. Go on to menu, same here, click to menu, same here as well, on to menu, and that's all. But if you want to be sure that everything is fine, come to file, check project, and click start. Nothing. If there was an issue, you would see it would have said there was a problem here, but nothing. So everything is just fine as it is 
So you want to check this preview with your remote control. You see, you're selecting what film you want to see. And if I click on this, it will play. But I'm not going to play this because it's copyrighted for a friend of mine. So I exit this. Now you want to come to build. Over here, it gives you, it gives you the choice if you're burning onto uh, as a DVD or Blu-ray. I'm doing Blu-ray. Um, disc. If I'm burning just one disc, I would select disc. Right. Put my Blu-ray burner connected to my Mac, and um, just click on build, and it will start burning. But if I'm creating multiple uh, disc, I would create an image. Then I would now go and look for that image and start burning from that image. But I'm creating just one disc, so leave this here. The disk is in there already. Yeah, from current project, not disk image, from current project, and just click build. And that should start asking for me to put a disk in there. So that's all. If you need any more help, guys, um, feel free to contact me.